Did you all touch the piece of paper? I have not. I'm just listening to my friend Errol as he describes the situation to me. Mm, same here. Well, I most okay. definitely touched it. For sure. <laughs> hey, Errol, do you feel anything weird as you're holding that uh, mysterious paper in your hand? I I don't know. Do you? <laughs> would you like to investigate it? <laughs> well, yeah. Sometimes you can find clues to the personality of the originator of the the message by examining how they write. So I will use a little bit of my training back when I was a librarian assistant and see what I can uh, divine. And so I'll go ahead and take the paper and look through the writing. Roll lasers and I'll give you two dice because your background is a librarian. Okay, so... I got a two and a three. And if I meet it, does that mean I succeed or oh, do I have to roll it underneath? It means laser feelings. It means laser feelings. Oh. It means you did great. Oh, that's, uh, as, uh, hey, listener, just so you know, it's my first time with this game. I have heard the previous episode where we did use lasers and feelings, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a better learner as I experience. So, yay, laser feeling. I got it. So what does that mean now? So that means on that sheet for lasers and feelings, there are some questions that you get to ask me because you, I can get this to pull up correctly. Oh, it says, I get a special insight into what's going on and I get to ask the GM a question and they'll answer me honestly. So. Yes. I, I can't, there's such a panoply of questions that I could ask. This is very exciting. I'm going to say. Who in the world wrote this message? Um, you can tell that it's someone of very high, high breeding, very rich, very well off. But the more interesting thing that you find after rolling laser feelings is that there seems to be some raised ridges running through this piece of paper. And if you investigate them further, you go on to notice that perhaps... There's some kind of summoning circle? Well, I'm not uh, big on magic, but I do I do recognize the kind of iconography that is associated with spells. And so I'll say, hey, y'all, I'm noticing this pattern on this paper. There is what appears to be summoning circle related uh, uh, shapes. And so I don't know how to use that, but... If any of you do, perhaps we can use that to help us along in this adventure. Well, I sure have no idea about anything like that. But what about Errol? What about you? Um, in my experience, you're supposed to take the paper, put it on the ground, and then we hold hands in a circle around the paper, and then we should say some mystical words. Perhaps, uh, abracadabra. Errol, right. <laughs> Errol, Let's will, do it. Errol will take the paper. And place it on the ground and uh, make everybody link hands. And then he'll say, abracadabra. By the way, out of character, you're just full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know Errol at this point, but. Well, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a cool character. He knows, he knows how to get things going. Does, does it, that means everybody's touched the paper, correct? Yes. 